Welcome back everybody to another Elden Ring speed build guide. Today we're gonna level up a wretch from level 1 to level 38 using absolute minimal amounts of combat. So it's safe even if you're bad at this game, just like me. <laughs> okay, just follow this guide, you're gonna be level 38. You're gonna have a plus 2 upgraded Cypher Pata, which is one of the best weapons in the game because it has a, uh, an attack, super, art of war, whatever it's called, which is unblockable, which makes the game easy mode versus... Certain enemy, not every enemy, but some enemies it's very, very good against. We're also gonna pick up the Redubia, which has a bleeding attack, which is almost necessary versus certain encounters that you have something like a bleed, something like a status effect that you reapply to certain enemies, it makes it so much easier to deal with them. We're also gonna pick up the armor, we're gonna pick up three, let's see, golden seeds, and we're gonna pick up three summons. Actually, we're gonna only pick up two summons, but it's going to be a little bit of a bonus segment in the end where we pick up the last summon. We're gonna do all of this, as I said. In 40 minutes of game time, let's just jump into it. So, gonna select a wretch. You can do this with multiple characters, but I don't remember exactly which ones you can do this with. If you're interested in doing this with other characters, the important part here is that you can get to 30 faith, uh, 13 dexterity, and 13 arcane. I also picked up the golden seed there. That's one of the three <laughs> golden seeds that I mentioned before. Uh, so yeah, you can do this with both classes, but this is no one of the classes uh, that can do this with so that's why we're doing it with this particular particular dude and also most of the footage is going to be sped up by times two this part is sped up by times four there's certain parts also where we're gonna be normal speed just because uh, i don't know i thought it was interesting to show you certain parts of this video i'm gonna fail also two times and i've cut that out there's going to be one time I run, <laughs> I jump down a ledge and die because I miss. I'm going to show you that also. But I've cut out that part, but I'm going to show you where I died so that you don't do the same thing. The left there is a smithing stone. We don't need this for this guy, but I, by habit I just pick this up. Always pick this up. Yeah, pick up the smithing stone. I don't know why I go, went at normal speed there, but sure. <laughs> Uh, we're watching the pre-recorded footage, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using my hands. And also, this is done with a keyboard and mouse. That's why all the buttons that you see here are like escape, E, whatever. So I don't have a controller. Uh, pick up the golden rune there outside. I think it's gonna be necessary. Uh, I haven't done the exact math on how many runes we're gonna need to uh, do all this. Uh, but I know if you follow this tutorial, you're gonna get enough runes. So, so fo just follow it, you know. Just follow it. You're gonna be good. Then just run. To this site of grace and this is going to be the first time you can see this lady which i don't remember the name of and i'm an idiot so i started going away there i think this is the earliest point you can uh, get your mount there might be a faster way of getting it if so you know leave me a comment down below i would be interested because that could speed up uh, future runs i'm definitely interested in doing more more speed builds honestly how much you can get in like 40 minutes an hour or something like that you can get like a complete character i think that's pretty cool I think that's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna wait until uh, morning here, and the reason we're waiting until morning is because I don't want to randomly... Because you're gonna see what happens here. When I get the steed, sometimes uh, the, spe the steed becomes invisible and enemies become invisible also. Because I'm uh, recording at the same time. It doesn't happen if I play and I'm not recording. But I, it's like the game gets overloaded by, I don't know. Too, it does too many things at the same time, and the computer can't handle it. And that's why, as you can see here, oh, the steed is visible here, okay, that's amazing. Uh, and the enemies are also visible, but sometimes they become un uh, invisible, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna pick up the map here also. Uh, not needed for this guide, but it's a pretty good map to have, honestly. This place you're gonna return to many, many times, so. We're gonna pick up this Scythe of Grazer. Also not, yeah, actually, it is, it is needed. This uh, one is actually needed, because we're gonna teleport back here later, when we go and get the Redubia. Uh, so there's going to be a couple of things here. The first part here is going to be very similar to my last guide where we go and we're going to deal with the Knight Cavalry. Uh, we're going to pick up the Somber Stone here. Uh, yeah, yeah, first we pick up the Smithing Stone and then to the right there's the level 1 or bracket 1 or whatever. Sombering Stone. Somber Stone, whatever it's called. Which we need to upgrade the Pata. Uh, so that's why I picked that up, and then I kept it right there because I know there's a couple of guides, uh, guides, <laughs> guys who walks on the road there, so just to avoid them. Then, then there's another side of grace down here. 
Uh, this is also not needed for the guide, but I like picking all these up because later on when you teleport between different places and you want to pick up different items, it's so annoying if you forgot to pick up a lost race. Uh, by the way, I feel like. And here just jump. Uh, there's a couple of dudes there. <laughs> you will see them on your screen. I didn't see them there, but I knew that they were there. Keep to the left also so you avoid the giant here. He can randomly sometimes knock you off your horse. So, not worth getting into that fight, you know. And then I found a faster way to do this than last time. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a couple of stages here. So first of all, we're gonna go to Salid. We're gonna pick up the Pata. That's just the same as in my last video. Then we're gonna go to the Knight Cavalry. We're gonna kill him. Same as last video also. But we're also gonna pick up some runes along the way. Then we are going to go do a couple of things. We're gonna pick up the Summering Stone level 2. We're gonna pick up the Summon. We're gonna pick up more runes. Uh, we're gonna pick up an Armor. And then we're gonna get the Reduvia. And when we have the Reduvia, we're gonna use the Reduvia to kill a dragon. Absolutely, the, the simple, it sounds difficult. It's gonna, you're gonna be like, wow, the dragon sounds difficult to defeat. I don't know if my skills are up to the task. <laughs> That's what I would have said at least. Uh, but no, it, it's super easy. You, you cannot fail. If you use my method, you cannot fail. No matter how bad you... I guess, it, I guess if you just... I don't know. If you don't listen to what I say and you just oh, do this with the controller, maybe you can fail, but... <laughs> you just click one button. If you can do this, you can click one button. Then you can succeed this part. We picked up the pata there, by the way. Very important that they picked up the pata there. And then uh, we're gonna get this guy to teleport us back to Salem. Also called dying. <laughs> you can fight him if you want to. You're probably not gonna win with a level 1 wretch, but... I mean, if you're really good at the game, then I don't know why you're watching this guy. You can just go and <laughs> go and own every boss <laughs> with level one wretch. If you want to, if you want to. Okay, and here my mount is going invisible. This is what I talked about earlier. The mount going invisible all the time. And this also, of course, applies to the enemies. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, riding on our broom here, smacking our butt. <laughs> That's what it looks like, at least. <laughs> Let's see when I speed up here. Doesn't this look like she's smacking her butt? Looks weird. Looks weird. Looks freaking weird. Yeah, keep the left here. Avoid every enemy. We don't want to fight anything until we're high level. <laughs> smack. I don't know. I don't know why it's funny. Uh, keep, yeah, keep the left side here. And uh, we're gonna get very far, I feel like, in these 40 minutes. I feel like if I extended this to like an hour, I feel like this might be the next guide. I think that we could get... I don't know if we could get a fully upgraded weapon and armor. If we... We'll see. We'll see what next next guy is gonna be. Uh, I think I have some plans. Pretty good plans. But this is the best route that I've found so far, but I'm thinking about even optimizing this a little bit more, actually. There are really some optimizations that could be done for this run, actually. To make it even faster. Uh, yeah, we picked up that Lost Grace, and then we're gonna go to the next map here. Also not needed. And also jump off the horse, because sometimes it's difficult to pick up when you're on a horse. Easier to pick up when you're not on a horse. So, uh, we got the Dragon Borrow map there, and for some reason I'm unable to, play, <laughs> to click E. Click E, Chris. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Managed to click it, finally. And uh, here's another thing which deviates from the last time we played this. We're gonna pick up the Dragon... Uh, Lost Grace thing, the bonfire, so that we can just teleport here back later when we have the Reduvia, so we can deal with the dragon. This dragon, you can fight her now if you want to. Uh, it's gonna take you an three hours, I don't know how many hours. Long, long time to fight this dragon with a level one wretch. <laughs> and the basic, whatever this is that she's holding. It's gonna take very long, that's why we need the Reduvia, essentially. And uh, yeah, we go here. Don't worry though, you might be thinking the Reduvia, isn't that very difficult to get? Uh, no, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a cheese also. It, I will say that that's probably the most difficult part. You can actually mess up there. You can mess up. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very, very simple, the thing you need to do. But the thing is, even I, I'm gonna mess this up in this video. 
I'm gonna mess up all the attacks that I say is they are very easy to land. All you need to do is to be close enough to the enemy and press one button. That's it. I failed this two times. And I still managed <laughs> to kill him. <laughs> so, if you're not a dengus like me, it's gonna be so easy. So, uh, when we get here, keep to the right then. Keep to the right and when, whenever we, Immediately when you land, just jump, 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 jump. Because it's gonna be dudes here. And the dudes, you don't want to get hit by them. And here, when you get down here, it's very easy, very, very easy, very important that you keep to the left side. Because if you keep to the right side, you run into the boss. You're probably not gonna die to him. Well, maybe. <laughs> you might die. Don't run, don't run into him. Don't aggro him. That's the easiest way of doing this. And just instead, keep running straight here. Straight. And uh, here's the first time I failed, but I cut that out conveniently. I'm gonna see that out oh, a little bit later. Here there's gonna be some uh, runes. Souls, runes, whatever they're called. And it's actually very important that you pick these up, because that's gonna be required for the last levels uh, we're actually gonna get with these runes. Uh, so these are actually easy to pick up when you're not on horseback. Uh, there are other runes where it requires you to be mounted to pick them up or to jump on top of the grave. Some are really annoying to pick up. I don't know why they placed them like that. But I think they just placed them and nobody ever checked actually how <laughs> difficult they are to pick up. So here's where I failed, but I'm gonna cut that out as I said. Soon. So you're supposed to jump down of course where this... Uh, you see the cut there? That's because I jumped down there and one of these pools of blood is mine. Because I failed that jump. Aim dead center. If you miss, jump again in the air then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Take this lost gray site and then you're gonna rest until night time so that the... Uh, what, is, what is it called? Night cavalry appears. What? Yes. I was gonna see that the... Look, so that the... Yeah, the recording is working. Okay. So here, uh, I uh, optimized this a little bit. Run past him, don't speed. Go up, go down, go left, go right. Just to stall a little bit of time so that he catches up with you. Because if he doesn't catch up with you, if you're too afraid of him, uh, he's gonna de-aggro and you're not gonna kill him. Run on top of all these poison things. And if you succeed at this point, you're gonna see the foe vanquish thing first. Yeah, that means you succeeded. If you don't see that, that means you failed. And you need to press G, go back to... Uh, that point again and do it again until you succeed. You're probably gonna succeed in one to three times. It's it's not that difficult actually. Not that difficult. Then we're gonna teleport to Church of Ella, and uh, this girl is gonna be talking, and I'm an idiot, so I'll try walking away here. And yeah, that doesn't work. You need to talk to her first. Yeah. And now we get the first of our three summons. The Spirit Calling Bell. Lone Wolves. Yep. Level up. And now we're finally gonna put our points, 30 points of course, into Faith. I'm an idiot, I don't know why I'm offering intelligence here. Like, do I need intelligence? I mean, yes, but not in the game. <laughs> okay. 13 Dexterity and 1 Arcane. So we are level 25 at this point. Badoosh. And then I'm gonna go and we're gonna use all the runes that I've got to get the last levels here. I'm gonna go and equip all the runes. Luckily I sped this part up. Good work editing, Chris. Good work. Okay. Use all the runes. Wink, 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 wink. Okay. And then, 13 Arcane, that's again what we need for the Reduvia. And now we are uh, ready to teleport away. We actually only have 233 runes here, as you can see, so we need some more runes. So we need to go and grab them first, so that we can upgrade the weapon. We also need another Sombering Stone, because we can only upgrade once now. Uh, so we need to get the second som S Sombering Stone? Somber Stone? Sober Stone? I don't know. I don't know. Is it a Sober Stone? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if it's a Sober Stone. Okay. Okay, taking these away just for convenience. Again, not needed. Time could be saved there. Miss the meat there. <laughs> can pick that up if you want it. I don't know what it's used for, actually. I don't know. I, uh, I think it's just... 
Well, whatever. Uh, pick up a golden seed there. So now we got the second one. Good. Uh, the first one we started. So. And I haven't used them yet, but I'm gonna do that at the very end. I'm gonna use all these things. Because we don't need healing really. Uh, actually, also, when you run here, keep to the right side, because then don't get ambushed by the wolves there. Talk to this girl three times, and she will give you the... Whatever it is, yellowfish summon thing. Thank you very much. And here I'm gonna be a little bit inefficient again. I'm gonna pick up some... Uh, uh, smithing stones, but we actually don't need smithing stones because again, we're gonna use the sombering stones because they also are useful for the path up, but you know, it's nice to have. Uh, so I have some more options and upgrading more weapons, so... It's good, you know? Uh, and then I'm gonna be an idiot here also. So I think I cut that out. Because I stand... Yeah, yeah, good. I cut that out. I stood at this grave. Look at this. Look at what I'm doing. Because I'm an idiot. Just tried to grab this thing. And there I grabbed it! <laughs> Took so long! It took like honestly two minutes there. That's uh, that's something you don't need to do. Jump on top of that guy. The only one you actually need is the golden rune five there. That's the last one I picked up there. You don't actually need the other ones because they don't give you that many runes. The golden rune five is the important one because that's the, that's the money maker. Uh, then we're gonna teleport to uh, Salen again, and we're gonna go and pick up the somberstone two. I think I'll create a guide soon. Also, on how to pick up all the somber stones. Um, yeah. yeah. If you're interested in that, you subscribe. Why not? <laughs> if you're appreciating the content, subscribe. Everybody also says like and comment. You don't need to like and comment. I know how annoying it is to comment. So, like, subscribe is easy. It's just one click. Comment, that's effort. I, I get it if you don't want to comment. That's fine. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. So much effort. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep to the left here also, and then you get the somber stone. And then jump down here and die. That's my... Yep, jump there and you die. Why do you jump there and die, you say? Uh, well, because if you pick up the Lost Grace, you have to walk through the entire mine before you get out. Waste of time. Absolute waste of time. There's nothing too interesting in there. No. <laughs> There's a boss. Who cares? <laughs> uh, okay, and now I'm an idiot. I... I haven't realized that I haven't used the runes that I picked up earlier. Now I'm gonna equip them. Badoosh, badoosh, badoosh. And, uh, yeah, use the runes. Good. I strengthen our uh, Cypherpada to level 2 now. And now it's pretty good. Now it's so good, in fact, that we're gonna teleport to Aghil Lake North, of course. I knew it. <laughs> Do you, do you not think I knew that it was called Akil Lake North? And I, I'm gonna be an idiot. No, 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 it's not yet. I'm gonna be an idiot soon. But it's fine. Uh, it's, a, it's a minor mistake. I'm gonna mess up <laughs> the boss that I said was easy and that he can't mess up. I'm gonna mess that up. I'm gonna cut that out. Because I was an idiot. I was an idiot. And I wasn't I was even an idiot at the time I succeeded with it. I was an idiot, so. So as I said, this is this method is idiot proof. If I can do this. It's gonna be laughably easy for you to do this. Laughably easy. Because you don't have to do the mistakes that I did. You don't have to. I mean, you can if you want to. I can uh, give you a list of mistakes in case. <laughs> Just copy them if you want to. I share my mistakes, you know. Well, I mean, not in this video, but you know. Something I can easily share. <laughs> Can make a separate video. Oh, maybe I should do that. Like a blooper reel of <laughs> everything I messed up with. I could be pretty good also. It's a separate video. Uh, that Lost Grace is not needed there. I picked it up because, uh, you know, it's cool and uh, easy and good to teleport to and stuff. Uh, here's this gonna be. Ooh, Smithing Stone 2 there. Uh, also not needed, but, you know, pick it up by habit. Pick it up. Here is also a knight, but we're not gonna fight him. I think we'll make a separate tour. I can actually just cheese this guy very easily and kill this knight also. Uh. And here there's going to be a vendor, and the reason I went here, this was also, I think, a waste of time, because you can get a better armor quicker than this, but... Uh, this took like four minutes to get just the these two armor pieces here. I'm gonna pick up the scale armor and the um, leggings, I think. <laughs> there. A little bit of time. Uh, but then, uh, this just so that we don't get like one shot. Because <laughs> we still only have ten vitality. We're gonna get more vitality, don't worry, but... Uh, 
for this guy. I prefer to fight it without, because I'm going to fail also at this. Um, I prefer to fight with the armor on. Actually. No armor on this guy. I'm not at that level. Okay, so here, first mistake, I ran into that guy. I mean, he was invisible, to be fair, but I knew that he stood there, so I should have. I should have remembered, but I didn't. Here you can see uh, I cut out the mistake here, where I went here and I was an idiot. And uh, th that's all I'm gonna say. So here's the method to kill this guy. Invaded by Bloodfinger. It's easy. Stand still there. Stand still. Don't move! Don't move side to side or something, because that messes up his AI. That's what I did last time. Don't move side to side. I was like, uh, 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 uh. trying to be cool. No, then he starts shooting his freaking blood things and kill you. Then you just uh, take off that targeting thing and you just run back. Run back, run back. Don't turn around. He's behind you. Don't worry. Then this guy comes and saves your day. I don't know why he has this funny hat, but here's all you need to go do. Go close and press your unblockable strike when you're close enough to him. It auto-targets, so you should not be able to miss this. As you can see, I've already missed this twice. <laughs> you should have three strikes with this. And whenever he goes to heal, of course, just hit him. And here, just did a normal storm strike. Don't need to do that. Uh, if I didn't mess up there, you should have killed him with the three strikes that you have enough mana for. But of course, of course I'm a bit so. Messed that up, but that's fine. And here you're gonna get some the Reduvia. And uh, again, the Reduvia is just needed to speed up the killing of the dragon, essentially. And I equip the Reduvia now. Requires again uh, 13 strength and 13. Uh, what is it? 13 strength. No, no, it's not 13 strength. 13 dexterity, 13 arcane. I think I already, already said this. Go back to the dragon. You find this particular spot right. I found it. There I found it. Okay, the spot. Just run straight forward at this spot. Smacking. And as you can see, sometimes this blood stack deals like 13,000 damage to him. Uh, and it's gonna take a little bit of time. I think this actually took like four or four, probably four minutes or something like that of game time. Yeah, but now it's sped up. Now it's like six times the speed or something. And then it's gonna go back to two times the speed. Very, very soon. So, uh, yeah. As I, as I said, you can't fail at this dragon. It has to be some uh, something of a miracle for you to fail her. You kill it, you get four hearts, and these hearts you can also use... If I remember correctly, you can use these to get the dragon sorceries, but that's gonna be another video later on, I think. We'll do a spell casting build. Yeah, you can get the uh, dragon incantations. With, the, with that heart, if you want to get the heart this one. Uh, so, we can level up our Vigor now. I'm gonna level it up to 21. Uh, you, you, can, you can do anything. I just felt like we need a little bit of HP. Because we were running around with absolute zero HP for this entire game. And this is essentially the end of the guide. I mean, all you need to do now is... Uh, you rest at Lost Grace, and then you add plus two uh, to, your, um, to your flasks. I'm gonna do this at the end of this video. Uh, so this... Officially, the video has ended now. This is all you essentially need, but I'm gonna show you how to get one additional summon, one additional additional golden seed, and where you for, where you get uh, one way. There's an arguably better way of doing this. Um, where you can get the somber, or it is better. <laughs> where you can get the somber seed, somber. It's called somber thing. So you can upgrade your weapon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut, because uh, I just run to this church, and there's like nothing here that we need, actually. We don't need this Starlight Shard, so I don't know why I went there. But th this is fine, though. I mean, picking up this uh, this thing here. But as I said, the, the guide is officially over, so you, you can tune out now. <laughs> you can tune out, I'm just gonna show you, uh, again, the, the last summon, the dog summon, whatever it is. And I'm an idiot. Here's where you should go. And also, you should not be on the left side. You should be on the right side. If you're on the left side like this, chances are you're gonna fall, you're gonna die to the boulder, which comes there. But luckily, I survived. Just keep to the right side, and that will never happen. So, I was lucky there. You might not be as lucky. Keep to the right side instead of the left side. Pick up this lost grace, and here I run straight into an enemy. I think. Yep. I mean, he is invisible. To be fair, I don't remember that he was there. So. And uh, here we get the golden seed. So you have another. A little bit of overhealing there, why not? 
Just jump down. Some uh, life dudes there. Another life dude there. And uh, yeah, dodging that like a pro. Grace dodging. I can ain't no thing. And here you can pick up the summon. Yep. And this mine that I show you now is where you can you can farm the somber stone three. You can. It, it's a little bit slow though. It's not difficult. It's just slow. <laughs> that's that's the part I don't like. But you can also pick up the Somberstone 4 here. And it's actually a very easy way of getting Somberstone 4. So, unfortunately, you need the Somberstone 3 before you need the Somberstone 4, so... That's a little bit annoying. Uh, these guys are invisible. Yeah, this is how they look normally. Wait. And then I'm gonna jump on top here. Oh, no. Missed. Okay. Pretend that I didn't want to miss there and pick up some gravity stone chunks, which we don't need. Jump. Jump to the left. No. Missed. Okay. <laughs> yup, uh, this, this guy there, just run past him, target him, now he's not invisible, he has used strong strike two times, no, unblockable strike is what it's called. And uh, here you get the somber stone four, and that's, that's it, that's all I want to show. Uh, these guys here that you see, saw in the mines here, uh, these guys with these, mm -hmm, they sometimes drop, uh, some. Uh, there, there was a smithing stone five. Uh, which I also didn't need, but I picked it up. Uh, but uh, those guys drop um, the Somber Stone 3, that's what I wanted to say. So now I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna use all our golden leaps, golden seeds to upgrade our flasks. And that's, that's pretty much the end of the video. That's how we get to level 38 in about 40 minutes. You upgrade your flasks, you get armor, you get two weapons, a bleeding weapon and a faith weapon. And you deal pretty much very good damage. That, that's it. See you next time.